like to do race fans. Racing 393. Uh, another quick um, video. Um, again, on to my RC hobby. Um, and as you can see there, I've just purchased one of the Schumacher racing models um, that's just come out actually. Um, as you can see, it's the Eclipse 4. It's for the 112 Pro LMP chassis. Not something which I would usually purchase, if I'm honest with you. Um, I've had Schumacher um, products before, and I've got a Top Cat, um, which has been discontinued now, but it was re-released. Re it's um, a retro buggy from Schumacher. Um, I've got one of those, and I've also in the past had Schumacher kits. Um, very good actually. They're um, completely different to what you're, what I'm used to usually with Tamiya. Um, they tend to be a little bit more specialised. And this one in particular is groundbreaking. I mean it's not it's not really everyone's cup of tea I'd admit. But um, it only came out, when did it come out? Um, I'll look now. I think it was. I'm completely lost of what day it is, but I, I believe it was might have been Tuesday. I can't remember of this week, but it only it's only just been released. Now, if you've seen these cars, they're literally Formula One, as in real life Formula One technology, but in 12 scale. It's absolutely incredible. So, not knowing too much about these myself, especially the predecessor, which is the um, Eclipse 3. So, going around sort of the, the parts which have been improved, um, it, it revolves around how the suspension works, how, how the chassis is adjusted, how it reacts to cornering, adjustments, um, the diff, apparently there's a lot, there's massive amounts of difference in this chassis to the last one, but I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know, looking at it myself, what it is, to me it looks exactly the same. So these to generally run lipo batteries which i haven't got now these do these will run 1s and a brushless motor so they're the sort of the new new age electric motors um electronic speed controllers and everything has to be a little bit scaled down compared to perhaps what you would normally expect in a one tenth buggy from tamiya or any one tenth buggy buggy for that matter um because there's not a lot of room on the chassis Everything has to be smaller, obviously, and clearly lightweight is absolutely key. So what I'm going to try to do here, I'm going to show you the box. It's not really a box opening. So it's a very small box, as you can see, anyway. It's nothing, it's nothing to it. So it only the chassis only comes with, well, it doesn't come with anything. It's just the chassis. As you can see, it's sort of how it's laid out in the box. Now the difference is between this and Tamiya is <clears throat> Tamiya just have a lot of bits on spurs and bags A, B and C and you empty A, B and C into three separate pots and away you go. Follow the instructions, delving and in and out and whatever. you. But if you look here, I just pick one of these up. This is just step 12, which is random. You just, when you get to each step, that's the parts, that's the parts for the step. Um, another one here. Um, well, it doesn't say what step on that one actually, he's saying that. But it's obviously a CF parts bag, so obviously you can delve into that. Um, let's have a look at what else we've got on here. There we go, so step 17. So you've got all the bits you need for step 17. Body mounts in that case, and away you go. So like I say, it doesn't come with anything other than the chassis, which is carbon fiber, which is good. Um, and you can see here, let me just um, 
you have to buy these separately. They're the tyres. These are the ones that were recommended by Schumacher themselves. I'm just trying to leave my camera so that. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to find the, well, but I'll stop buying kits. I'm going to find the funds to get a proper camera. So I'm aware that this one doesn't really focus out there. So I'll get the wheels out. These are just the, I won't get the fronts out because they're, they're the fronts of the fronts, aren't they? So these are the rears. So I've got um, the 112 scale hex rear, so that's the way they fit. So on the, on the wheel there, it's got a hexagon. Compound pink 28 soft A foam, and they're 46 mils. So that's how much, that's the diameter. So you can see they're really tiny. Um, apparently, if you go on tarmac, you run 46 millimeter, so you run with more thicker foams. Carpet, these ones, and I think certain grades of car, certain grades, I don't know, but you can run even thinner, so down to 39 mil. So that's pretty much on the rims almost, but these are sort of halfway between the two. But as you can see, very lightweight. Um, there's the hex. And there's the wheels. So it's, you know, quite good. I quite like that. Um, put this back in there. So they're extra. So you don't get those with a kit. And you don't get a body shell either. So I've actually bought a body shell. Now I won't, I won't get it out. It's not going to be, it's going to be really difficult to see this. Because it's in a bag. Uh, this is a Monotech M12 body 112 carpet. And this is actually um, valid for if my, if I, not I'm going to, but if I was going to race, which I, I won't, I'm, I'm nowhere near that good. Um, but if you're going to race and take it seriously, this body shell is homologated for that series. I haven't really read much about the rules and regs, but it's they're quite strict. Um, they also do... Oh, incidentally, this is a lightweight body shell. It's very, very thin. Um, but apparently effective. Um, they do like a spec class. And a modified class. I don't know what one I'm going to build yet. I've got to get all the electronics, and that's going to set me back about probably five, six hundred quid. Um, and we're going to go from there. So the um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start this. I've got many other sort of projects that I've got to get going on. Um, like I say, I've got my top cat, which I've got to. I've got all the bits for that. I just need to start it. Um, I've got my, my Kyosho, which has got some bits coming for it. I've got most of them now. I'm just waiting for one more bit, and then I'll do a video on that. And, well, that's about it. So, I'm going to put this back together. I know, I'm not going to get everything out. There's just, there's not a lot of point in getting it all out. I'm not sure when I'm going to start it yet. It looks, I'm intrigued of how it all goes together. So, comes that back there. there so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. I won't actually do a video of the building because I'm not. I will forget to film and move the camera and stuff. I just want to take my time and build it when I'm ready to build it. So I know lots of people do a, like a build video. Um, I'm not really into that, I must admit. Now, as far as running this, well, I've got nowhere around here flat enough, not even the airfield where I go, the, the road around it, which I use, the runways, the old runways. They're not, not for this. This is too... This needs like billiard table, a billiard snooker table smooth. I'll have to think about it, because I don't want to wreck it. Um, these, you know, these retail in at probably about 250 quid, you, plus or minus 20 quid either side, depends where you get it from. And I know they're not everybody's 
cup of tea. They do, you know, when you watch them on videos, they do move unrealistically quick, but you've got to have, I mean, how the drivers go around lap after lap, that close, that accurate, is absolutely mind-boggling. I can't get my head around it. In one eye, in one eyes, yes, they're too fast, but very impressive. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I've got an idea. Perhaps I've got a look. It's, it's about twenty minutes from me where I can run this on a smooth bit of tarmac to try some speed runs. But like I say, I've got to, first got to build it and then put all the electrics in. The electrics are going to be probably the most expensive that I've purchased for any model car in my life because um, I'm not going to skimp on that I'm going to get quality stuff because I want it to be if I was if I was going to race it if I want it to have what they're all using as according to the rules just something I want to do um, I I've got no intentions of racing this because well, we can't at the moment anyway, but I want to get it so that I could, should I choose to do so. Um, so it does mean spending quite a bit of, or investing quite a lot of money into the internal parts of this car. Anyway, so that's my Eclipse 4. I hope you uh, found it interesting. I, I certainly like stuff like this, and I shall... See you very soon on the next video. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye for now.